Welcome back. Today we're going to look at getting started with single store and Python. You can grab a link to this repository in the description below. Let's get started with single store and Python. Now this repository is great at helping us get started really quickly. To get started, it's just a three-step process. We need to sign up for a license for single store. This is free. Next, we need to spin up a cluster. We can choose a managed service where we just instantiate it and run it. We can choose to install it in virtual machines or in containers. Today we'll use containers. There's a Docker Compose file here in this repository that makes getting started with single store and containers really easy. And finally, we'll set the connection details and run the app. So let's get started. First, we head here to singlestore.com slash free, and we sign up. Once we click the link in the email, we'll land here on the customer portal. Now the customer portal allows us to quickly spin up new managed service clusters. In this case, I clicked on software license and grabbed my license key. I'll set this in the terminal and use that to spin up the Docker Compose file to be able to spin up my database. Step one is done. Step two is done. As part of spinning up the Docker Compose file, it automatically runs the init.sql. So we have our content in place. Let's log into the portal and take a look at the database. My username is root, and my password was set inside the Docker Compose file. I can take a look at the details of my cluster. Let's switch over to the SQL editor and we'll look at the database. We're using the Acme database. That one was created automatically as the Docker Compose file spun up. And let's select star for messages. We can see the content is here in place. Now, let's set the connection details inside of our application. Here's the Docker Compose file and it specifies the root password here and We'll spin this up on our local Docker desktop so we know that the IP address is localhost. So let's switch over to main.py and we'll set the connection details. The host is localhost, the port is 3306, the user is root, password is password here, and the database is Acme. Perfect. Let's run this application and see how it works. This application does standard create, read, update, and delete tasks. And so we can see the output here of its running. Let's take a look at the code and see how it works. We're going to create a connection to the database using the standard memsql Python driver. We'll do a connection.ping, and now we have our database ready to go. First step, let's create a new row. We're going to insert that row and print out the primary key. We'll read one row and output that row. We'll update a row. So instead of saying inserted, it will now say updated. And then we'll read all rows. Finally, we'll delete a row. This standard create, read, update, and delete mechanism allows us to get started really easily with any application. Let's look at the methods for each one. Create, insert into messages, here's the content, and percent %s. We use percent %s to inject the parameter so that we're safe from SQL injection. We'll execute and go grab the last row ID straight away. Next, we'll read one, select, where ID equals, and we're using percent %s to save ourselves from SQL injection again. Let's go get that row and return it. Read all. Now, in this case, we're doing a select star, and whether we enumerate the fields or do a star, both work great in single store. Let's execute that query and return the rows back to the caller. Update. Update messages. We'll set the content to this new message, where the ID is the ID that we want to update. Let's execute that row. And finally, delete. Delete from messages where ID equals percent %s. Create, read, update, and delete. Let's run the application again. So first, we create a row, inserted row ID 3. And we read that row back out. Here's the inserted row. The create date is right now. Next, we'll update row 3. Now, when we update row three, instead of saying inserted row, it now says updated row. And then we read all the rows back out. Here's our original row that we created in our Docker Compose init.sql. And then finally, we delete the row. Create, read, update, and delete. Getting started with single store and Python is really easy. Grab a link to this repository in the description below. And thanks for watching. <laughs>